மேடம் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ண மேடம் Good morning, everyone. I am profusely overjoyed to take the opportunity to introduce our chief guest of the day, Mr. Anand Narayan, who studied computer science engineering and worked at TCS Bangalore. He is a certified yoga trainer, social worker, versatile singer, stage performer, te television host, and whatnot. A software engineer by profession, Mr. Anand has taught yoga and other stress management techniques to diverse groups. In music, Mr. Anand shot to fame as a contestant on the popular music reality show Amrita TV Superstar. He went on to host top-rated TV shows like Amrita TV Let's Dance, Kerala Dance League, and Maravil Manorama Josco Indian Voice. He has traveled to more than 15 countries as a singer, stage performer, presenter, and he has also sung playback for a few Malayalam movies too. Mr. Anand continues to enthrall his audience in concerts and shows across the, across Kerala and all over the world. Now I request our distinguished versatile chief guest to give his precious inputs to our dear students who are seeking to be like him. Welcome, sir. Over to you. Sir, please unmute, sir. Yes, thank you. Hi, everyone. Can I see most number of you turn on your videos before we start the session? So this session will have a little bit of technique and practice also. So it won't be a, a theory based session. So for the techniques to, for me to teach it properly, it will be better if I can see all of you on the screen. So I'll wait a, a, a minute while all of you can turn your videos on. Yes, good. Rahul Raj, Akash, Prasanna, Sai Aravind, Suruti, Sushma. Good start. Kirti. Let's all turn the videos on. Okay. All right. So at the outset itself, I want to uh, send you something here. That's okay. If your camera view is upside down, it's all right. As long as you are not upside down. So I'm sending you a link here in the chat box. It's just a quick five questions for you to assess yourself, to assess your state of mind right now. So if you can all fill it up. I'll give you three minutes and then we will start. Anita ma'am, are some, are some of them logging in from YouTube? If so, you can post this link on the YouTube if possible. You can copy this and post it as a comment on the YouTube.
take two minutes okay one second one second i can finish that i can Okay, now you must be able to fill it up. Just click on the link again for some people who couldn't access it earlier. Yes, I'm sending the link again. Okay, one more minute and then we can all start off. And a big hello to all of you who are joining us from YouTube also. I can see more than 500 people are already logged in. And a very warm welcome to all the parents and the teachers, respected teachers who have joined here. Uh, college mail ID is good. You can use college mail ID. In case any of you have not received the mail ID, you can use your individual. But those who have the college mail ID, please use that. Even if you use the Gmail ID, it's all right. No problem. Okay, great. So that's it. Uh, very good morning to all of you. My name is Anand Narayan. Uh, thank you, Anita ma'am, for introducing me. And thank you uh, to the college management uh, for inviting me to this session. Uh, many, many years ago, I did my BTEC in a college like this and have gone through the four years that you are about to embark on. Uh, and I used to work for TCS uh, as a software engineer. And then we founded a small startup in Bangalore, uh, which made mobile applications. And after my stint in uh, engineering, I moved to entertainment and media. I've been working in the entertainment industry for a few years in South India. Uh, but apart from all that, what I love to do most is I love uh, training people uh, in, the, in discovering happiness. So when I was in my college age, I did uh, some programs uh, where I could learn some breathing techniques, a little bit of meditation, mindfulness, yoga, etc., which changed my college life completely. So I did not have a big, a lot of problems in my life, but still I felt that, you know, I should have more energy. I should have more planning, better time management, more confidence and less distractions, you know, uh, from in life. So when I did those techniques, it made my life completely different. And from there onwards, my graph was going up always. So what I love to do now is I like to share this wisdom that I got with others, especially I love training corporates, college students and college faculty members. So, so in the next uh, one hour or one and a half hours, we will be looking at one thing, happiness. Hmm. So now tell me, 
those who are uh, here, you, I will need some visual enthusiasm from all of you. Mm -hmm. If you look at me, nothing is going to happen if you look at me so seriously. Mm -hmm. So have, have a pleasant, uh, you know, uh, place to sit down, keep the phone somewhere. I don't think you will be able to hold the phone in your hand for one and a half hours. So you can place it on a table and sit on a comfortable chair. So far, so good. Can I see some visual enthusiasm? A thumbs up or a V? All right. Just to know that your screen is not stuck. Okay, great. So first, let me ask you. Hmm? Now you have to put this in the chat box. Hmm? Why did you join this college? Or why did you join this program? And now you can be very frank in your answers. Even if your faculty are here, don't worry. Be very outright, very open and frank in the answers. Why did you join this course or this college? You can write in, you know, English or Tamil or mix of Tamil and English. Passion in course, discipline, good college to settle in my future because I want to. It's my dream. Interested in coding. Okay. To know something new. Mother wanted me to sports dreams to get placed in Vital Songapa. Okay. Vital Songapa. Okay, good. Campus interview. Love coding. NIRF ranking. Autonomous. Improve my skills to learn. Top ranking college. Obedience. Movie shooting. Safe for girls. TC is good. Sign up. High scope and set by college friend, better education, good college, good college, develop skills, top ranking, cousin suggestions. Appa join Panni Uttanga. <laughs> okay, good. Safe for girls. Dog Walasaranga. Interesting. Good college. Audio launch for better knowledge. All right. Okay. Audio launch. Good placement. Good engineer. All right. Now tell me what is what will happen? How will you feel if you become a good engineer? Or how will you feel if you improve your talent? Or how will you feel if you get good placement? Proud, okay. Happy, yes, great, very happy. Good cricket coaching, yeah. How will you feel when you play cricket? How do you feel when you play cricket? Tell me that. Feel happy, yes. Feel proud and happy, yes. So the one word that is going through all these answers you are giving me is, what is that one word? It starts with H, happiness. Yes or no? Whatever we are doing in our life, whether it be, you know, studying to get some marks, studying to get a degree, studying to get knowledge, or, you know, uh, being with family, playing cricket, playing uh, basketball, uh, dancing, singing, uh, or having a pet dog or a cat, or writing, reading books, going on travels, or playing, you know, games on mobile phones, you know, doing a TikTok, watching TikTok, or, you know, the name has changed now. I think the apps have become different. Uh, so all these things we do because we feel happy. Yes or no? Yeah, web series, watching web series, PUBG, PUBG on proxy now. So we be, uh, do this because we feel happy. Yes or no? Everything that we do in life, we do it because we feel it gives us happiness or we want happiness. Mm -hmm. Now, my next question to all of you is that, yeah, movies in theater, very good. How many people watched the new Surya movie? Yeah, yeah, me, 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 me. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, all right. So, very good. So now tell me, now my second question is, what are some of the things that stop you from being happy? What are the things that make you unhappy or what are the things that come between you and happiness? Yes, stress. What causes stress? Parents, yes. Okay, advice, problem, failure, family background. Very good sharing, all of you. Expectations, pressure, stress. Yeah, Mohammed, my question is, what causes that stress? And the stress, what causes it? Studies, some of the aspects in your life would be causing it. No. So what is that? What are some of the problems that come in? Disappointment, whatever you are comfortable in sharing. Hmm? That's enough. Disappointment, money, no money, stress, comparisons, exams, sad moments, financial status problems, too much of work, usage of phone restrictions, 
financial problem, family situations, loneliness, if we don't like to do something, fear of exam, they ask to be, uh, they ask us to be and think like them, financial problems, fear, rain while playing cricket, very good, making decision, expectations and burdens, low marks, expectations, comparison, addictions, no fulfilling, disagreement with parents, work, fear of getting marks, fear of losing, low marks, fear of not living up to expectations, workout, reduces stress, okay, difference in opinions, fear pressure, pressure, parent pressure, what to do next in life, good, expectation skills, maths, <laughs> stopping the children from dreaming, skills, poor in studies, wrong decision, comparing with others, COVID, okay, good, could not go out with friends, very, very nice sharing all of you, so what I understand from all these answers is that, most of our problems, whatever you have written in that, are connected with things that happened in the past or things that are going to happen in the future. Yes or no? Yes, for example, marks, whatever marks you got in your 12th board or in your entrance exam. Sometimes you might feel a little regret. Oh, I should have done a little more, then I could have gone into IIT Chennai or IIT Delhi. Um, or I could have got into medicine. Um, let's be frank, you know, still there might be. Or I had taken this branch in 11th and 12th. Um, maybe I should have taken BCom or Arts Humanities. Um, there might be some thoughts like that. Or it could be about some events that happened in the past. You know, how this friend did something to you when you were in 9th standard or 10th standard. Or something that happened in your family life long ago. That might still make create some trouble or some tension in your life. Even now, when you think about it, you feel angry. Yes or no? What kind of emotions come up when you think about the past? Put it in the chat box. Yeah, some people did not expect this much itself in 12th. <laughs> yeah. What kind of emotions? Yeah, happiness, anger, sadness, angry, disappointment, fear, anxiety, anger, regretting, funny, Regretting, anger, frustrated, some kind of disappointment, anger, sad, both happy and sad. Oh, regression, laughter, frustration, happiness, anger and happiness, sad, frustration. Yes, all of you can put it in. What kind of emotions come into your mind when you think about the past? When you think about your life in the past? It can be last week, last month, last year or three years ago. Feel like I'm nothing, disappointment, anger, happy and crazy, frustration, some happy Anger and fear, regret, Mohammed is sending three smileys of anger. Shame, feel fresh, comparison, waste of time, thinking of past, yeah. Depression, nothing, just smile and go. Depression, no true friends, sad, level of anger. Regret with a pinch of happiness, happy and sad, very good. Parents see the mark, proud, weird, experience, all right, laughter. Now, Tell me what kind of emotions come into your mind when you think about the future. It can be tomorrow, it can be next week, next year, or at the end of the four years of BEB Tech, or 10 years from now. What kind of emotions come up? Okay, I have to catch up with you. Excited, COVID, all is well, fear, 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 nervous, exciting, excited and scary, excited. Like, like I should do great in future, eagerness, enjoy, excitement, very much fear. What is going to happen next year? Fear, interesting, fear, curious, only fear, brave as lion, slight fear, hope, fear and happiness, development, afraid of commitment, happiness with fear, scare, kind of excited, lot of tension, proud and a brand, waiting for planning. In the world, I will, okay, curious, curious about my future, blank, excited, happy for anything. Excellent. Okay, so what I see is when the mind goes in the past, uh, one word that came in a lot was things like anger, disappointment, all these things keep coming in. Yes or no, when you think about the past. Yes. And of course, like you said, happiness also comes. Some happy memories also come when you think about the past. But along with the happy moments, you also feel a sense of loss. Oh, at that time, in school time, in 8th standard, my life was like this. But now my life is like this. Sometimes the happiness comes with some sense of loss also. And then regret might come, a little bit of shame or anger might come about some person. And when we think about the future, like many of you said, it could be fear 
or anxiety or like someone said excitement a lot of excitement might be there but even when there is excitement and hope for the future there is some yes suryan i got your point <laughs> even when uh, there is some excitement some anxiety also comes along with it yes or no so when the mind goes between the past and future these random emotions keep coming in and out even today morning after waking up you just observe how many times your mind be went between past and future what that person told to you last year or what is going to happen to you after one year all these things keep coming up and down yes or no yes and now my question is but where is life actually is it in the past or is it in the future where is life yes bala present future really some people are saying future some people are saying both shakti vel says future praveen says future okay praveen shakti vel if if you decide, if you think life is in the future are you able to live in the future right now is it possible to live in the future right now suppose you are going to get placed in one of the top companies in google hmm? at the end of 4 years of this graduation are you able to live there right now no or in school age you know life was much more easier easier hmm? there was less work to do or there was less pressure are you able to live there right now no the only choice we have is to live in the present moment that's what today is called present very good athavan the only choice we have is to live in the present moment everyone agrees because past is like a dream yes or no and future is also like a dream right now only choice we have is to live in the present moment now let's see what happens in the present moment all of you keep your hands like this you've been sitting for like this for 20 minutes keep both hands like this now keep your phone somewhere steady don't hold it in your hand then you won't be able to do anything and if you look at me so seriously then nothing is going to happen have a smile all right that's better so now what we'll do is keep one hand right hand in as a thumbs up like this okay we are going to play a very silly game okay divya darshini are you in position yeah and then left hand make it into a fist keep the thumb inside and roll it into a fist like this okay good now when i say flip Hmm? all of you have to flip both hands the position of both hands yes rohan benny ready keep it up i cannot see your hands rohan yeah flip change both hands <laughs> divyansh divyanesh yeah flip flip come on yes kirti flip flip <laughs> flip abhinaya come on flip very good flip 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 very good makeup patel you are getting good so some of you are doing it very well some of you are absolutely failing but that's okay now i'm going to make it a little more difficult let's take come to position again right hand in thumbs up left hand roll the thumb inside and make it into a fist now i'm going to add a clap okay in between clap flip clap flip clap flip clap flip make how you lost it clap flip ratna velo come on clap flip clap flip clap flip clap flip <laughs> all right so now now look at all the faces look at all the faces in this uh, in the zoom call what is common in all the faces can you tell me yes santosh you can let your hands down yeah yes sangvi is practicing now sangvi good job so what is happening happy or smile or some energy has come in yes or no everyone has a gentle smile or some energy yeah so what happened for the last few couple of minutes all of your mind came to the present moment yes or no you were all looking at looking at my hands you were trying to do what i was doing some people were failing miserably but still they were smiling yes so this is what happens when the mind comes to the present moment yeah a little embarrassed also that's okay so when the mind comes to the present moment then it becomes happier it becomes calmer and in general the energy level also rises 
happy like shazam yes very good so that is the advantage of being in the present moment the intelligent thing is to live in the present moment hmm? and let's see okay uh, let me find out nivedita yes nivedita can you unmute i want some volunteers you can unmute let me see if i can unmute you yeah try clicking unmute ha huh. hi yes, nivedita sir. where are you from i'm from tambaram tambaram all right so nivedita yes sir uh, let me find out you are going how do you travel usually public transport do you use yeah what what do you do you have a metro there yeah but uh, it's from far there ha huh. so suppose you are taking the metro one day hmm? finally okay. Hmm? Okay, and yes. you are going from one station to another tell me some metro stations someone one metro station to another where will you go you say nivedita gindi ha huh? from uh, airport to gindi ha ah, airport to gindi right yeah all right airport to gindi you are going to go hmm? and uh, this is in the third year of your college for example Okay, sir. And then what happened? Divyanish is also Divyanish. Can you unmute? Try clicking unmute. Hi, sir. Can you hear me? Oh. Yes. So Divyanish is also in the same metro. Hmm? Sir, it's uh, Dianesh. Uh, you don't mind? Huh? It's Dianesh. Dianesh. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Dianesh is also on the same metro. And while traveling, when one station uh, comes up. Hmm? uh the somehow the metro stops uh, breaks very fast mm. suddenly something happen and the metro breaks fast mm. and then what happens divinesh uh, dhyanesh sorry dhyanesh gives uh, they were standing near to each other unknowingly because of the breaking dhyanesh gives a small hit to nivedita mm. the entire train kind of jerks and he gives a hit to you and nivedita you slowly fall forward and maybe you hit your head on that lamp post or something now how will you feel nivedita tell me suppose you're traveling in a train and somebody gives you a push the others can reply on the chat box but i feel some fear that time sir okay and how will you feel against uh, dhyanesh what kind of but he didn't do intentionally no okay and you will feel inside your mind yeah some people are saying anger <laughs> slap also get irritated anger nothing big some people say anger all right so now next day after maybe 2 3 weeks again you are going in the same metro and uh, this time what happened is you had a project to be submitted and it did not work out you did not get the lab result you wanted to get and the project deadline has passed and the teacher is asking for the submission you are not getting the lab result at all and what so many marks are at stake nothing is working out and you are again going in the uh, same train and the same incident happens again now same way almost at the same station you get a push from dhyanesh again because of the trains problem this time how will you feel nivedita a uh, little bit irritated irritated <laughs> yeah pity dhyanesh yeah okay so little bit more irritated yes or no yeah okay now you passed out of uh, the college sairam and obviously one of the best colleges uh, in tamil nadu and you get placed in a very good uh, what is your dream company tell me nivedita the name of your dream company Company. Anything. I didn't have like that. <laughs> But still, Dhyanesh, tell me your dream company. Google, sir. Okay, Google. So I'm going to use that for Nivedita also. So Nivedita, you get placed in Nived uh, in Google, and you you had attended the campus interview, and while you were in train uh, in the previous station, you get a phone call saying that okay, Nivedita, you have been finalized and shortlisted for Google. and you are going to get a job there your training is going to start and you know dhyanesh has this uh, somehow i don't know why but dhyanesh always travels in the same train as you travel coincidence so again the train breaks and dhyanesh again gives you a bump 
Hmm? So coincidentally, this happens three times. Hmm? So the third time you are getting the phone call from Google and right after you hang up the call, this incident happens again. You are getting pushed. Now this time, how will you feel? What will you feel? The others can type in the chat box also. After this phone call comes from Google, same incident happens. But I won't feel anything that time because I was already in a happy mood. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that is correct. What? Right now, like Nivedida said, you might not even respond to it. Yes or no? Never felt. Yeah. Like Anandini said, <laughs> some people are saying extra two slaps also. But what is the truth? You might not even feel what happened right now. Yes or no? Yeah. Sanjay Kumar says ignore. You will totally ignore or you won't even realize that you got pushed because you are in that happiness. Yes, Nivedita? Yes, sir. Yeah. So why I use the example is in life also, this happens many times. When the state of our mind is right, the quality of our life is great. Yes or no? The state of our mind decides the quality of our life. Everything is going correctly around you, then even when some stress comes in, you are in a very, very well off situation in life, even then some problems comes, you are able to handle it correctly. But when the mind is stressed, even small things that people say will affect you and make you stressed and make you even more angry. Yes or no? There are times when you are too stressed with, you know, studies in school. And at that time, even if your mother says something, you know, remotely uh, irritating, you will get so angry at her. Yes or no? And then you will feel regret after that. So the quality of our life depends on the state of our mind. And if the mind is in the present moment, you're happy, calm, relaxed, etc. As we saw in that game, in the hand game, no? So how to bring the mind to the present moment? That is the question now. All of us understood that when the mind is in the present moment, we are happy and calm. Regrets are less, depression is less, anger is less, guilt is less, anxiety is less. So let's have a look at that. Hmm? How to bring the mind to the present moment? Okay, we'll we'll do one thing. We'll do a we'll do a uh, as uh, activity now and see if we can control the mind. Yeah, how to control the mind? All of you close your eyes for ten seconds. For the next 10 seconds, keep your eyes closed, keep your spine erect. And for the next 10 seconds, do not think about a violet color monkey. Whatever happens, keep the eyes closed. For the next 10 seconds, don't think about a violet color monkey. Next 5 seconds at least, don't think about violet color monkey at all. Whatever happens, don't think about a monkey. For the five seconds, five, four, three, two, no monkey, one, zero, and open your eyes. Yes, Sai Kaushik, Shubhanandan, gonna think about the red monkey, okay. Adarsh V, now tell me, you were smiling, what happened? Unmute and say Adarsh, what happened? So no sir, why man? I'm thinking about it. You're a monkey, monkey. You're not thinking about it. Okay. What happened? We all were thinking about the monkey. Thinking about it right now also. Yes. yes. Sir. Violet la monkey. <laughs> okay. So what happened? I said, don't think about the monkey. Don't think about the monkey. And more and more, the monkey came into the face. I thought of my own face. All right. I see dancing monkey. So, this has happened. At least for 5 seconds, the monkey came in and then you were able to change it. So, this is what happens to most of the people, 90% people. Some people were able to control it for some time and then they also lost it. So, it is a little difficult to control the mind from the level of the mind. We keep telling ourselves, from today onwards, I will never get angry at my parents. How many people have made this promise in your mind? Yes, many people are raising their hands. Some people are raising their hand in their mind. And some people say, you know, today onwards, I'm going to start getting up at 4 a.m. with my new timetable. How many people have decided this? Yeah, some people have constantly kept the hand up. Today onwards, I will not waste time by watching TikTok videos. Of course, when TikTok was there or 
going through people's Instagram profiles or watching, you know, pet videos, puppy and cat kitten videos on YouTube. Yeah, after three hours, we are still in the same position. Never touched TikTok. Okay, still can't get the monkey out of the mind. Yeah, so this is what happens to control. Sometimes it might be pornography also at this age. You know, the pornography takes up some uh, a lot of time and energy from us and we decide, okay, from now onwards, I won't watch porn. And then we control it for some time and then it slips away. So this is, it, it is a little difficult to control the level from the level of the mind. We are successful to a certain extent, but after that it slips away. So how can we control it in a healthy and long lasting way? That is the most important thing the skill that we can acquire and that is what we are going to look at it to control the level control the mind we have been given a fantastic tool that is what we are going to look at in the next one hour what is that tool so let me ask one more question whatever answer comes into your mind you have to put it quickly okay in two seconds you have to be ready to put the answers what is the first act of your life Put it in the chat box. What is the first thing that you did? Yeah, crying, crying, crying. After being born, yeah, after being born, what is the first thing? Some people said smiling. What is the first thing you did? Crying, see the mother, opening eyes, crying, crying, breathing, crying, 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 see my parents, crying. Okay, very good. Keep coming. Smiling, playing, eating, all right, I don't know beating my mother felt oxygen couldn't remember kicking looking at doctor breathing broke my back head sleeping very interesting answers i'm getting peeing okay <laughs> observing looking at nurse all right okay all right so now okay most people are saying crying crying okay so we are going to test that i'm going to unmute everyone you have to Unmute yourself and we are going to do this experiment. Mm -hmm. All of you said crying, no? So we are going to test it out. We are engineers, so we don't believe anything blindly. We have to hypothesis, uh, you know, test the hypothesis. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is all of you take a deep breath in. Okay, I'm going to unmute you for one minute. Okay, don't make too much noise right now. Hear me first. You can all unmute. Okay, sir. Okay. Video on. Do exactly as I say. Okay. D. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Breath inside. Yes, sir. Breathing out. Mute me now. One, I'll do one thing. I'll explain it without before unmuting you. I'll explain it once. Okay. You're going to take a deep breath in and then without breathing out, holding the breath inside, you have to start crying. Okay. That is what we are going to do. Okay. Now you can unmute. All of you can unmute. Those people who want to unmute can unmute. Okay. Ready. Keep your spine erect, everyone. Sit straight. Take a deep breath in. Put the breath inside. Without breathing out. Very poor, very poor. None of it did properly. I'm going to give one more chance now. Okay, do it 100%. Now again, your spine erect. Deep breath in. Hold the breath inside. What happened? Now let me ask you, what was the first act of your life? Were you able to It's physically impossible. Terrific horn madri. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Divya Darshini. Yeah. Now all of you have got it. I think some people, Sai Kaushik and all, they said it right away in the beginning itself. The first act of life is you took a breath in. You took a breath in and then you started crying. That is why doctors 
check if the baby is crying as soon as the baby is born the doctors check if it is crying because if it is crying it means that the baby is alive and breathing you take a deep breath in uh, until that moment you are breathing through your mother's lungs your mother's lung is giving you the oxygen and the first time we are born the umbilical cord gets cut and you take a deep breath in the lungs expands for the first time you feel a little bit of pain and you start crying mm -hmm. and all the people around us will do what when we are crying what will they do smile yes very good and what is the last act of life next question put it in the chat box final act of life enna yes very good last breath or breathe out we will breathe out and what will the others do the people around us yeah hopefully they'll cry no so the first act of life is we take a breath in all the people around us start smiling the last act of life is you breathe out and hopefully make others cry mm -hmm. so between this first inhalation and last exhalation is your time called life and in that the only thing that we do in the present moment mm -hmm. in every moment the only thing that we do throughout our life is breathing in and breathing out and it is very possible to use this breath to change our mental state mm -hmm. yes so now next one final question before we go into the techniques how do you feel how is your breathing pattern when you are tensed in life when there is tension inside you or anxiety how is your breathing pattern tell me what is the rhythm of your breath very fast rapid fast 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 very good when you are angry how is your breathing pattern when there is anger inside you how do you feel the breath is fast again rapid high very fast yes and when you are sad or depressed or when you have pain when you are in pain i don't know if you have noticed your exhalation is longer you say ha pa yes or no your exhalation becomes longer so and when you are calm or relaxed how is your breath tell me when you are yeah calm relaxed happy how is your breath normal very good normal and soothing so when your emotions change your breathing pattern is changing yes or no whenever your emotional state changes your breathing pattern changes now what we are going to do now in the next 45 minutes is we are going to change our breathing pattern and then we are going to change our emotions we are going to normalize our emotions that is called a breathing technique hmm? changing the breathing pattern to change the emotional state of mind yes sai kaushik said it another word for it is called pranayama hmm? we are going to learn a breathing technique okay so and we will see if it has any effect okay and if the mind can be brought to the present moment so let's do let's sit comfortably and now those who have turned off the video now you can all turn it, turn it on so that i can also see if you are doing it correctly yes maximum people can turn their videos on and sit comfortably on a comfortable chair with your spine erect keep the phone in front of you this is a technique if you learn it correctly this is something you can do every day it's a take home technique every day just before your classes start you can do it and you will feel the difference so learn it properly even if you don't have any particular interest in these things like breathing techniques or meditation for the next 45 minutes whatever i am going to teach you learn it properly so at least you are able to understand if it can make any change inside you okay everyone ready for that to learn it 100% okay very good so sit with your spine erect and we are going to learn a breathing technique called bhastrika i put it in the chat box bhastrika bhastrika is a sanskrit word the meaning is bellow bellow in english word bellow is have you seen a harmonium all of you harmonium in a picture at least in a harmonium there is a membrane at the outside when the membrane is expanded air goes inside and when the membrane is contracted the air comes outside mm -hmm. so we are going pastrika means a bellow or that membrane so we are going to make our lungs like a 
below. What are the advantages of doing this? Our lung capacity starts increasing with regular practice. And the energy level in one day, our energy level in one day is directly proportional to the lung capacity. So if you feel that you feel very sleepy throughout the day, you don't have enough energy, this is amazing. Bhastrika can help you. It can improve the oxygenated blood, amount of oxygenated blood in the body. More oxygenated blood means concentration power improves, the organs get purified better. So, so many benefits are there. So, let's learn the Bhastrika breathing technique. How to do it? Let's all sit with our spine erect and keep loose fists on either side of the shoulders like this. Loose fist, Ipidi. Yeah. One second. Let me adjust my screen. All right. Like this. Keep your loose fist on either side of the shoulders. Fist is facing forward. Not like this. Forward. Very good. And elbows are close to the body. Not like this. Keep it close. Very nice. It's so good to see uh, the faculty members also join in. I'm so happy to see that. So, I will show you first and then you can do it together. So, first you throw the hands up like this. Throw the hands up everyone. Ah, when the hand goes up, your fist opens like this and let it fall down, fist closes. Once more, up, fist opens, down, fist closes. Keep your spine erect, face also erect. Up, open, down, close. Okay, yes, all of you can have a smile on your face. First time you are doing it, you will feel a little uncomfortable. What is this guy making me do? Hmm? That's okay. Hmm? You can have a smile while doing it. So this is the movement of the hand. Now I'll teach you how to breathe. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I mean, do it lightly. If you just ate Krishna, do it very lightly. Hmm? Don't do it very in, in a heavy way. Uh, anybody who has just had a heavy meal, just do it in a light way. Hmm? So when you throw the hands up in the air, you have to take a deep inhalation, deep breathe in. And when it falls down, you have to breathe out, but forcefully. Hmm? Inhalation is deep and long. Exhalation is forceful. Hmm? So I will show it once and then you can start doing it. Okay, just look at me. I'm taking a normal breath in, breathing out. Now with lots of enthusiasm, breathe in, out, in. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And relax. Keeping the palms on the lap. I'll keep the palms on the lap open to the sky. This is how we are going to do it. Did you understand everyone? Can I see a thumbs up? Yeah. So... Those who have, you know, asthma or, uh, you know, frequent sinus problems, these are all very good for you. Hmm? If you have allergies, Bastrika is very helpful. So, uh, inhalation is deep and exhalation is forceful. That is all you have to remember. And breathing is only through the nostrils. Mouth remains closed. Shall we do it? Let's do one round and see. Let's all take position. You can keep your eyes open now. Hmm? First, we will do it eyes open. Adhikapram, we will do it with eyes closed. Loose fists on either side of the shoulders. Elbows are close to the body. And keep the shoulders relaxed. When the hand goes up, don't forget to open the eyes, uh, open the palms. When it comes down, it closes. First, take a normal breath in. Breathe out. Now, with lots of enthusiasm, using your hands, breathe in. Out, in, 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 
आउट इन आउट इन आउट इन आउट रिलैक्स नाउ कीप योर पाम्स ऑन योर लैप ओपन टू द स्काई इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन यूज अ टवल इफ सम म्यूकर्स एस कम आउट और यू कैन क्लीन एंड देन कीप योर आईज क्लोज एंड रिलैक्स योर पाम्स एंड कीप इट ऑन योर लैप and observe the gentle flow of energy through the body and slowly open your eyes okay did you understand all of you i was just we, we were just doing a demo round now we will do it with eyes closed okay okay so do it sincerely and tell your parents and family also not to disturb you for the next half an hour okay for the next half an hour no distractions so that we are able to keep the eyes closed and do it sincerely mm -hmm. and why i ask you to keep the eyes closed is these techniques are done to take our mind a little inside mm -hmm. 24 hours of the day or at least 16 hours a day when we are not sleeping we are caught up in what is happening around us so just the next half an hour we are going to observe what is happening inside inside the body and inside the mind mm -hmm. so now i will ask you to close the eyes once you close it you don't have to open it until i tell you to open there will be some temptation ki what is this guy doing what is this girl doing what is the teacher doing that temptation will be there but you can take keep it away for just 15 20 minutes everyone agrees to that okay all right so we will do keep our eyes closed and do three rounds of bhastrika after that i will tell you to open the eyes only then you can open it keep the phone somewhere comfortably and you don't have to keep changing the position of the phone let it be there don't worry about the phone now don't keep adjusting it and touching it etc all right let's sit comfortably keep the spine erect and take position for bhastrika loose fists on either side of the shoulders and now you can close the eyes whatever happens see if you can be committed to the technique without opening the eyes are you able to do it just observe and observe what is happening inside the body and mind there might be many thoughts that are coming that's okay let the thoughts come first take a normal breath in and breathe out now using your hands with lots of enthusiasm breathe in out 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 keep the eyes closed and keep your palms on your lap open the, to the sky kannugal moodi vekkalam and observe the gentle flow of energy inside the body all of you are doing it very well and keeping the eyes closed let's do second round of bhastrika take position loose fists on either side of the shoulders 
Keep the spine straight, face straight and shoulders relaxed and have a gentle smile on our face. In Bhastrika, when you throw the hands up, you take a deep breath in and when the hands fall down, you breathe out but forcefully, only through the nostrils. Breathing in and breathing out is only through the nose, mouth remains closed. First take a normal breath in and breathe out completely. Now with enthusiasm using your hands, breathe in. Out, in, 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 out, in. Out, in, 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 out. Keep the eyes closed and keep the palms on your lap, open to the sky. And observe what is happening inside. Keep the spine erect and body relaxed. And let's get ready for the third and final round of Vastrika. Take position, loose fists on either side of the shoulders. Keep the elbows close to the body. First, take a deep breath in and breathe out completely. Now, with lots of enthusiasm, using your hands also, Breathe in, out, 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 in out 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 Keep the eyes closed and relax the palms and keep it on your lap, open to the sky. And for the next five, 10 minutes, Let's keep our eyes completely closed. Whatever happens around you, let it be. See if you are able to keep the eyes closed. There might be temptation to open it and see what is happening. There might be temptation to chat or talk. 
are you able to be committed for the next 10 minutes to keep the eyes closed Without taking any effort, simply relax and sit and just listen to the instructions. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Become aware of all the sounds and noises in the environment. Whatever sounds are there, noises, just become aware of them. Sound of the headphones, sound of people talking, sound coming from outside your room, sound of the fan, Whatever sounds and noises are there in the environment, become aware of them. Let them be there. Accept and welcome all the sounds that you are hearing. Become aware of your own body. Take your attention to different parts of the body. No need to take any effort. Simply relax and take your attention to your right leg. Relax your right leg completely. left leg abdomen stomach chest right shoulder and right arm left shoulder and left arm.
neck face become aware of your whole body this body is a precious gift given to us by god or nature honor and respect your own body Take a breath in and breathe out. Become aware of your the thoughts in your mind. Whatever thoughts are coming in your mind, welcome them all. There may be good thoughts or bad thoughts. Many many thoughts would be coming to your mind right now. Welcome all of them. when you welcome a thought it will go away on its own breathe in and breathe out Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Keep the eyes closed. Become aware of your feelings and emotions. there might be happy feelings or unhappy feelings or neutral feelings whatever feelings and emotions are there just become aware of them
you are peace you are joy Take a breath in and breathe out. Once again, become aware of your feelings and emotions. Become aware of the thoughts in your mind. Become aware of your own body. And become aware of your environment and the sounds and noises around you. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And slowly, with a smile on your face, take another deep breath in and breathe out with a smile. And slowly, gradually, taking your own time, you may open your eyes. Yes, welcome back. How are you all feeling? Now you can put it in the chat box, your experience. Peaceful, mind calm. Calm, fresh, fresh, great, sleepy, peaceful, fresh and in you, feeling good and positive mindset. Bright, fresh, positive mind, fresh, relaxful mind. Rumba, Santosha Mayraku, very good. Fresh, calm, peaceful and relaxed, calm and fresh, soothing, good. All right. Do you know how much time you kept your eyes closed? Any guesses? Yeah, almost correct. 17 minutes, double mass. <laughs> 17 minutes, did you feel that? No, right? 17 to 18 minutes. Yeah, 18 minutes to be correct. Yeah. yeah. So what we did today in the beginning is called a breathing technique or pranayama. Mm -hmm. There are many different breathing techniques. The one that you learn today is called bhastrika. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good, Suryan. And after that, what we did with our eyes closed is called a meditation. Mm -hmm. We did something called the meditation. Mm -hmm. So there are different kinds of meditation also. We did something called the mindfulness meditation. It's a very popular meditation that is now practiced in most of the top universities in the US. In most of the IITs, IAMs, now they have made it part of the curriculum. And even in NASA, Google, Microsoft, they have meditation rooms now. So meditation is like soap for the mind. We clean our body every day, no? With soap, yes or no? Every day or once in three days, we take a bath. Some people are like, yes once in three days all right so we clean our body with soap but we don't do much for the mind 
So meditation is like soap for the mind. So uh, a little bit of breathing techniques, a little bit of meditation, at least 15-20 minutes every day can bring a lot of difference in the way you feel. Right now, do you have too many thoughts? The people who did the meditation and pranayam have the thoughts, everything reduced? Yeah, calm and hungry make up it. Yeah, everything has come, you know, become a little more focused, right? Yeah, that's what. So meditation improves concentration to a large extent that is very required for the next four years of your life. So maybe I'll share something with Janaki ma'am or your HOD, some guided meditations I can share with you later on. And you can do that whenever you have some time. 20 minutes every day if you do, you will start feeling the difference. Calm and hungry, yes. Feel nice, Abhilash. Good, good too. So one more thing and we'll wind up uh, with that. Uh, this is something that you can do while sitting in on your chair itself. This is some exercises for the face. Mm? This is called desktop yoga. Let's all sit straight, all of you. Yeah, those who are snacking can keep the snacks away for five minutes. We'll finish off quickly. Keep your hand on the... Uh, is that we feel hungry after meditating? No. Uh, Sri Hari, I think you become more aware of yourself. That is what happens. Mm -hmm. It's not like you hunger increases, but you can drink lots of water even now. Your body becomes a little more relaxed and calm. That is why you are feeling the hunger a little more. Mm -hmm. So take your hand and keep it on your head and gently move the skin of your head. You know, whenever some mistake happens, we do this, no? Oh, cho. Mm -hmm. So like we are improving the blood circulation in the brain. So this is how we do it. Consciously, it's okay. Hairstyle, I'll give you time to change your hairstyle. Even if the hairstyle goes, no problem. Yeah, so the skin has to move. See, my skin is moving. Don't rub it like this. Move the skin using the fingers. Very good. Now front and back. And interlock both hands and press your head against the palms. This is good for people who have neck pain. You'll feel a straight, light strain on the back of the neck. Push your head against your palms and forward. Push your forehead into the palms. Again, you will feel a little tightness on the back of your neck. Very good. Okay. Now come to your forehead. Knock on your forehead with your fingertips like this. Very good. Now come to your eyebrows from the center to the side. Start squeezing them like this and from sides to the center these are some nerves and muscles that we ignore totally mm -hmm. try to straighten it like this stretch and straighten it very good now with your index finger the tip of the index finger keep it on the corners of your eyes and pull them to both sides lightly keep the eyes closed naturally the eyes will close do it three four times and feel that stretch Pull the corners a little towards the sides and feel the eye stretch horizontally. Very good. Now, massage the pit of your eyes. Keep your eyes open. Wide. Keep it wide open and massage the pit. We do it some, some days, you know, in the mornings after waking up, we do it. And then from center to the corners like this. Rub the under the eyes where the dark circles are formed. Let the blood start flowing very well. Very good. Do it with a smile and it is more effective, says many research studies. Okay, good. Okay, now with three fingers, dig into your cheeks like this. Very good. Dig, dig. There will be small knots in this area. Hmm? Maxillofacial muscles. Very good. Now come to your ears. Pull it to the sides, both. Very good. And down. In tribal schools, this still happens, no? Some punishment is given. They are asked to pull the ears. Because there are some nerve endings in the ears, which can activate the brain. Pull it up. Now start rotating the ears. Like this. Opposite direction. Start shaking the ears. Very nicely. Shake, 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 shake. Then twist it 
squeeze it squeeze nicely if you squeeze your own ears then the teachers won't squeeze it okay uh, now nose yeah headphone problem i understand from top to bottom cement your nose with two fingers very good now let's come to the cheeks what do we do with the cheeks fill air in the cheeks like this we do that no when we were children fill it up come on do it 100 percent many of you are so embarrassed to do this it's okay you are all in your homes itself no fill it up mm. no break it yes very good one more time see your ma'am is doing it 100 percent janaki ma'am very good now let's do the opposite we are going to do a fish face pull the cheeks inside see some of us have even lost that you know so you have to make some effort now pull the cheeks inside are you able to do it yeah very good ah now for the tongue make the sound the horse sound do it properly 100% don't be shy it's your own home you are in the comfort of your home your parents should wonder what is happening here okay and finally for the lips hmm? this is very interesting for the lips you do how do you drive a bus when we were children how do you do it do you remember do it 100% come on with a smile you can do it the entire lips should shake Ah, loosen in Anapanga. Very good. My child, I made him join Sairam College and now he's driving the bus. Let's do it. The, the lips should shake. You can do it without the sound also, like this. Can you feel a little bit sensation in the lips? Yes. If you do it properly, you'll feel it. That's it. That's done. Now, from the top to bottom, rub your face like this. Keeping the eyes closed. Three or four times from top to bottom, pressing every area on the face. And slowly keep your eyes closed and keep your palms on your lap, open to the sky. With a smile on the face, take a deep breath in and breathe out with a smile. And slowly open your eyes. How do you feel now? Do you feel a little more re refreshed? The face feels a little more refreshed? Yes or no? Yeah, that's it. So this is called desktop yoga or in yoga's terms, it's called sukshma yoga. So what we did, we, we did not do anything radical. We just took some attention to different parts of the face. That's all. So now online classes have begun. It is even more important to give some attention to your face. So just without the instruction, it will only take one or two minutes maximum to cover everything. So you remember from the top, forehead, ears, nose, eyes, cheeks, lips and tongue. This much you have to do. And for the eyes, couple of things you can do is, yeah, some people have uh, dry eyes. I think I will need more time to tell you specifically dry, about dry eyes. But I will show you a uh, couple more things. Uh, one is keep your eyes open wide really wide you should feel the air pass on the corners and the sides and close it tight open it wide feel the air go inside all the edges and close it tight now keep your body straight spine erect and face erect and look to the right corner total right corner without moving the head only the eyeballs have to go you will feel a little bit strained, that is okay. Now look towards the left with your eyes wide open to the top and to the bottom. And now rotate very slowly, clockwise direction three times, anti clockwise direction three times. And now blink your eyes very nicely, fast, and relax. Very good. Yeah, tears coming. That's very good, Suryan. You can also do this one. Maybe I'll tell you at some other point or you can message me. I'll, I'll share my email ID or uh, Instagram ID. You can message me for people because we don't have enough time. So that tears is good. It just cleanses the eyes. 
So this much we have to do and for the head for the neck keep your left hand on the right uh, right hand on the left side of the head keep the head straight and gently press it to the right looking straight everybody don't look down looking straight light pressure and you will feel the left side stretch come up keep the spine erect left hand on the right side and gently very good and come up that's it like that you can do both sides and then do up and down and left and right look straight keep the shoulders straight and do this much at least this much it will only take you five minutes to do all this every day morning and evening before your online classes start doing it it will make so much difference your sleepiness will get reduced back pain otherwise later on with so much online classes every all students will face problems that's it so what next how many people like music yeah are you ready to sing along as uh, ma'am introduced me i also love to sing if you all will sing along with me from your homes then we can sing yes me 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 santosh <laughs> all right so i'll wind up with a song hmm? <clears throat> if you know the words you can sing from your homes itself <clears throat> What song? Put it in the chat box. Despacito. <laughs> yeah. Tala fans, how many? Mailundrai <laughs> Kannana kanne, kannana kanne, yen me the sayava. Punnana ninjay, punnana kayal, popola niva. Nankat nindrin kalangal torum, yen ye kum tiruma. Nanpart nindrin, punvanam yengum, yen minal tondroma. Tanirai megam turum, kanni serum, karkandai maruma. Now, all of you can start singing from your homes. Let your parents be surprised. Next line, you know, no? Arari raro, 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 arari raro, arari raro, 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 arari raro. Okay. That was awesome. Yes, thank you. A big thank you to Mr. Anand for your enthusiastic approach and your thoughts have enlightened our minds and have shown a new path. Thank you so much for the techniques, the breathing techniques especially, to keep our soul and body agile. You, uh, your ways are amazing. You have such a beautiful practice and we admire your confidence in all, you, uh, in all that you did and said. That was really awesome. We are grateful for showing us our true strength. I think the students will continue to practice what you have taught them so far. You have help, helped us to walk through the life with grace and passion. It was really awesome and fabulous. We thank you once more. Thank you. Thank sir. you. Thank you, ma'am. So can I take a group photo, Anita, ma'am, if that's okay? Uh, why not, sir? Why not? Okay. Well, so well. all of you, even the people who are a little camera shy, can now keep your videos on. Mm -hmm. So let's all take a group photo and I'll share it on my website or and, and my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I'll share my email ID also with you. If you have any questions regarding the session, you can message me. Keep your uh, videos on, have some light on your face and have your biggest, best smile on the face. Yeah, big smiles everyone. Very nice, I can see so many new faces now. Nanda Kumar is upside down, I like that. 
smile keep smiling you show some v or this is too regular now show a rock on sign or a v or a thumbs up or a pouting face okay that's it and quickly i know we are uh, right out of time so i have to i want to send you three links here on the chat box uh one is the post uh, assessment form and then if you have facebook you can share your experiences with me on my website or if you have instagram you can share it with me on insta mm -hmm. but the first uh, link please fill it up mm -hmm. so your college also gets to know your feedback and in the second id on narayan.com slash uh, that my website i'll put this photo in it by evening okay so i uh, i'm so glad that i could spend this much time with you and it was great to see so many of you participate so well the next four years i are going to be amazing for all of you uh, and make use of it properly mm -hmm. start something new do some creative stuff apart from you know studies do your studies well but get participate in whatever co curricular activities you can make use of social media in a good way hmm, to portray your talents those who are good at speaking start a, a blog hmm, where you can start putting reviews etc those who are good at singing dance start putting it up on insta those who are good at writing start travelogues hmm, write stories today you can become a star and an internet sensation and portray your talents on youtube or on internet if you have anything hmm. so there are people who will look at it and it will help you in your further in your career also i want to thank janaki ma'am especially for inviting me here or being the connection point for me coming here and hoping to meet all of you one day in person thank you sir yes. guys take a short break we have another session at 